Hello there, I'm back today with a double feature. I'm going to be showing off my childhood Ben 10 collection. Hopefully gives some people some nostalgia, so I'll get started. Here, first of all, I've got my first Ben 10 figure ever, Wild Nut. Um, I've done everything here in the order from the intro, which I think was the order on the Omnitrix. Then I've got Forearms, who's my third figure ever, despite being second. Then I've got Grey Matter, he was a birthday present in 2007. Then I've got Accelerate times two actually because I lost one and bought a second one that came in a creature pack. Um, so I've got one without the visor, one with the visor. He's my favorite OG alien, so don't mind having two just to have the two visor looks. I've got the deluxe figure somewhere and um, yeah, got to relocate it because you flip the head down, the mask came out, which was cool. Then I got my boy Upgrade here. He was uh, one I picked up in my trip to America in 2007 in actually the um, Times Square Toys R Us in New York. So he's very cool. I love him a lot. And I, not many people here had him, so I'm glad to get him. Ben, not sure when I got him. I do have the Kevin 11 somewhere. I haven't relocated it yet. Which reminds me, some of the stuff's omitted from, from this collection. Either I haven't relocated it or... Um, it's sticky and needs treatment. <laughs> trying to work on that. So here we've got Diamond Head. Diamond Head was a Christmas present in 2007. Um, he's not actually from the original two waves. He's from like the thing they did next with like translucent figures as special features and some of the villains I have later on. Um, I do hope to get the actual first Diamond Head released at some point, but never saw him here. So this is what I have for now. Rip Jaws. He's incredibly underrated. And I like him, despite him being the butt of the breath jokes, like I can't breathe, but I found that funny. Um, I like how his skirt here, the striped skirt, turns into a, which kind of gives him like a, a caveman, a sort of, I don't know, look. But I like how it turns into a leech tail when he goes into the water. I thought it was a nice touch. Then I got Stinkfly, another birthday 2007 present. Ghost Freak, same deal with him, same birthday. Um, I've done a very fancy thing here and stuck him down with blue tap because I have no idea where his stand is at the moment. I hope to relocate it soon. Um, then, should should really say fine, relocate. I'm, I'm going to move something I've lost. Yeah, re real good. Um, anyway, Heat Blast is my second figure. He was my favourite till I saw Accelerate. Then we got Wild Vine. Then we got Cannonball, also from Times Square, New York. He's pretty beat up because I used to try to roll him as a kid, like in the show. Then we got Upchuck. This is Perk Upchuck, the first one he turned into. Never got the Alien Force Merc Upchuck. I should have. If I realised there were a subspecies, I would have asked my parents to buy him for me back in the day. But, you know, trying to save money. Um, then we got uh, Tetrax here, who's cool. Took the helmet off so he'd show him off properly. It's cool, the bounty hunter characters. I wish they made crab and such in the OG toy line. Then we've got Ben Victor, or Frankenstrike here, who has like a chip of pain out of his fringe. That is because um, when I got him, I put him on a desk in the hotel we were in. We are on like a holiday down south and he fell over and chipped the pain off. So that was the start of my like being super careful with figures. He says as he straightens up a ghost freak stuck down with blue tack. Um, this ghost freak who refuses not to lean on uh, Frankenstrike here like they are a couple um, was a present from my friend Leo, also known as I Need Attention. He's got a great channel he's done up. He got me into these toy videos. He does his own collection videos and reviews he started up, which are really good. So shout out to him. I'm going to put his channel link in the description. Please check him out. Does it into a bit more anime stuff than me, but, you know, I'll get to that eventually. Um, yeah. Anyhow, it was nice. He gave me a lot of stuff to fill some gaps in my collection when he was done with Ben 10 stuff. So, yeah. Then we got Ben Mummy, or better known as Snero. Um, I took the bandages off the back because those things just pop up. Pop off, pop off constantly. I'm going to skip some of this other stuff that's not OG. Then we've got Vilgax. This was either from I Need Attention or it was from a toy fair. Um, he'll either be like, yeah, I gave that to you or I have no idea what that thing is. 
I think I got it from a toy fair for like a very good price. And it's one of the only translucent figures that isn't sticky in my collection from the humidity. Um, but yeah, uh, Vilgax, nice to actually have a bulky one. I've got the one before he got hurt because he gets, his ship gets damaged and he gets damaged too. And he's in like that back to tank thing. And then he turns into this with like the Bane, like pumped up look. But I've got the pre that look that he first had in like the first episode somewhere but it disassembled and I've lost a leg or something but hope to refine that and sort that out at some point. To move on to Alien Force though just going to quickly go to this Forever Night figure who's been blocked but it's quite nice. Um, then we've also got Gorvan who was from the Benton Alien Force game. Moving on to Alien Force, here we have Lodestar, Christmas 2010 present, Love is Design, the yellow stripes. We have Wrath, let me tell you something. Um, yeah, great figure. It's got a bit sticky too, I don't know why. I think maybe just the plastic colours. I got him at the reject shop. Back in like 2013, they had all the 2010 figures in the reject shop for like 10 bucks. And I filled up on all these ones I didn't have when I got back into it. Um, yeah, I could add a really neat collection if I didn't sort of drop off around 2011 from buying them. Anyway, Nanomech from the Alien Swarm Moody should have got from the Reject Shop the uh, Ultimate Alien version, but oh well. And we've got Art to Guano, which is a rare and hard one to find. As far as I know, I never saw it in store. That was also from my mate, I Need Attention. Then we got Jet Ray, my first Alien Force figure. Then we've got Spider Monkey, Ultimate Spider Monkey, who still has dust on him and it's pretty hard to show off, but he's cool, a gorilla with giant spider legs. Moving on, we got Swampfire, who I actually waited to buy a creature one because I didn't want to double up on the Omnitrix hologram that came with them. Odd way to restrain yourself when it's a kid wanting to play with the toys. Anyway, then we've got this version, which has like the muddy hand. I think it might have came with a flame or something, but. It's like meant to be his mud attack. Um, my dad picked that up for me in Singapore, which was really cool. There was a big chill that was cloaked as well. It was like a line where they did like an upgrade of the original Alien Force Omnitrix of like a metallic ring and um, green holograms, finally, which it should have been in the first place. Never saw that, and I don't think I saw these either, but I was lucky enough for my dad to get one when he was there for work. Ultimate Swamp I picked this up from Mr. Toy's Toy World, where I got a few of these ones I missed out on. Then we got Ben here. Just want to say while I'm on Ben, uh, this design. Alien Force is my favourite series. Possibly followed by Ultimate Alien, kind of that era. Um, I like Season 1 and Season 2 of Alien Force when they removed Grandpa Max from the occasion, gave him good character development into a hero on his own. Then they kind of undid that by turning him into a bit of an ass after he saved the whole universe at the end of Season 2 and the War of the Worlds uh, special two-parter. And then they turned him into, yeah, like the childish, annoying 10-year-old Ben, basically, again, that's an idiot, which I wasn't a big fan of. Although it did lead to some cool, like, episodes, um, you know, as such, but it all felt a bit filler to me, and they kind of sacrificed the development and cool story they did. But I heard that they that wasn't originally the plan. That was a decision later on, but, you know, you never know. I, I would have liked to have seen how it panned out the original way because it was some, some good character building, you know, for a kid show. Then Humongousaur, Ultimate Humongousaur, Cannonball. Wish I got the Alien Force one in like a three pack for that War of the World special, but, you know, didn't want to double up. Chromastone, very sentimental to me. Got him during a tough time. Then we've got Echo Echo, who uh, has primary school friends little brother yeeted into a tie rack once. Not cool, man, but things you remember. Then we got Ultimate Echo Echo. Love that showdown between him and Ultimate Kevin, who I'll show later um, how Ben used him to beat Kevin. And it was pretty dark. He nearly killed him. <laughs> he was going to put him down like a like a sick dog, which was pretty, pretty crazy and dark for a kid's show. Anyway, big chill. I do have the deluxe one somewhere. Uh, my mum picked me up this one on clearance back in like 2008, 2009, but she managed to hunt down like the cool deluxe one that had the cloak and the wings as well. So I'll get him up and going for another video. Then we've got uh, Ultimate Big Chill, who was also 
my first Ultimate Alien figure. Picked up a New Zealand trip in like September, October 2010. He's very sentimental. He actually got his leg bent in the suitcase, even though he was in the box or like wrapped up in all these clothes. I do not know how it happened. They must have thrown it hard. But I twisted it back and like, you know, even though there were some, there weren't stress marks, marks on it back in the day, it, it just seemed to heal. Now it's like the slightest bung foot a little bit off. It's really good. I've never had a toy repair like that. So anyway, repair from doing like virtually nothing. Almost knocks over a pile of unopened toys below. Um, yes, I've got some Bakugan to sort. Anyway, here's Kevin, Steel Kevin. Came with his muscle car, which I've got to relocate. Wanted to put it here where this Omniverse stuff is, but no room at the moment. Um, and couldn't find it. Ultimate Kevin, also from my buddy, I need attention. Thanks for that, man. Um, yeah, who I was talking about earlier. DNA alien and your hybrid. Dean Alien Cat does have a squirting mouth, and Highbury does have like a stomach patch. I have no idea where those are at the moment. Ultimate Agrigor, also from my buddy, I need attention. And then we got the Andromeda Aliens, Water Hazard, also from my 2010 trip. Amphibian, who my dad got me from the UK. It was a hard one to get. We ordered it online, such. Uh, Armadrillo from the Reject Shop, those discounts. This um, Terra Spin was from Toy World, and same with NRG, which was like one of the only ways to get it, as I think I've said a million times already. Moving on, we got our Omniverse stuff. So this 10-year-old Ben was also from I Need Attention. Boy, he gave me a lot. Uh, the teenage Ben. Rook, I better hurry up. These videos go way too long. Jury Rig, wish we got the ultimate alien one. Then again, it was just a nude red goblin, so... Then we've got Diamond Head. Wish I was able to get the Alien Force Diamond Head. I loved how they took, uh, like, the part of the shell of Chromastone for him, but I think it was some UK exclusive or something. I never found it. Feedback, of course, important to the story. Edel, and the same line as Feedback, and I should have showed off how I'd done this. Malware, who's a cool villain. Zombozo, Kaiba. It's cool to see some villains get some love. Snero, when he got his proper name. Pax the Hippie Wildvine dude. Um, NRG out of his suit. Spider Monkey, also from I Need Attention. Forearms, like what uh, they did to the design here with the moustache, like a wrestler. I wanted the Ultimate Alien one, but then again, he's just wearing like a pair of Speedos and like a gold brace, so it's a little odd. Um, yeah. Crash Hopper here. I'm not coming too close. In a previous take, which went forever, I yeeted Rip Jaws off, and he's pretty valuable now. At least to me, you know. Aerodactyl. Um, yeah, Blocks. Who's being blocked by forearms. Gravitack, Topic, the one that if you see his face, you'll uh, be psychologically traumatized. Another dark thing for a kid's show like Ben 10. Then we've got Kick and Hawk here, Shock Squatch, then we've got Big Chill here from Omniverse, last but not least, this is my favourite Omniverse figure, um, didn't like how they bolted up his design at first, but this is a really cool figure, like it is value for money, and I actually, you know, it grew on me that they changed the design, oh and actually I got the grey matter here, the pack is a bit of a meme, but yeah. I think the big chill may be a bit rare, but not sure. Anyhow, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this bit of a nostalgia trip with some Ben 10 stuff. Uh, as for a next video, I'll probably be looking at my Transformers Prime collection or the next part of my Pokemon Emerald playthrough. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you later.